Hey guys, it's Chad Roy from Vermont, psychrometrist, moisture expert. And uh, why is that important? Because with COVID, that's what the virus travels on, is that invisible moisture that most people cannot see. It's October 31st, 2020, once again. It's about 18 degrees here in Vermont. So this allows us to see that typically invisible moisture. That's just breathing. See all that moisture? That's traveling probably 15 feet. And those typically invisible mo moisture molecules are now visible, and that's what the virus rides on. Totally vaporizing whoever's in my path, just breathing that way. So I'm going to show you a couple you know, efficiencies of the, the masks that people are wearing that not only protect you or protect other people. So we'll start with a typical bandana that people use as a mask. So that's what we're trying to protect against. Is that vapor leaving us? or that vapor coming in. So let's put my mask on. Okay, I have my bandana on. It's over my nose. Now I'm gonna breathe again. It's still traveling quite a distance as you can see. Not efficient. It's somewhat efficient because it's not going fire and it's uh, blocking you a little bit but not that good at all and uh, next I'm gonna try what a lot of people have um, these little cloth masks also similar to the hospital masks that you see people wearing they're not really tight okay I'm gonna breathe now Totally getting vaporized. That's normal. Now I'm gonna try demonstrate an N95. You can see N95, 95 stands for captures 95% of the particulates, including those moisture droplets. You can see it escaping. Still not efficient. These are some respirators that we've used for years, P100s or N100s. So these are really great at protecting you, but as you can see, some moisture still comes out of here because of the way of the exhaust ports. So they'll protect you 100%, but they're not gonna protect everybody that you may be around. So that's some demonstrations of these different masks that are there and how they'll protect us against the coronavirus and or other people. Once again, this is a great demonstration of seeing this invisible virus that we're up against, the coronavirus.